The latest update to Lightroom Classic has some pretty cool stuff in it. And the thing we're going to have a look at today, the thing we're going to test how good is it, is the AI denoise feature. Now, this is something that is new to this update. It actually helps you to remove digital noise or at least reduce it quite a lot. We're going to have a look at how it works, how easy it is to use, and how it can really clean up your photos. Let's just dive into it. It's Tutorial Tuesday. <laughs> Welcome back to Tutorial Tuesday, where each other, we each on every Tuesday, we bring you a brand new fresh photography tutorial. This week, we're going to dive into Lightroom. I'm not going to go on about it again. You already know what we're doing. I know what we're doing, hopefully. Let's get involved. So this doesn't come up as often as it used to, because a lot of modern cameras are just very capable now with higher ISO values, so you can comfortably shoot at much higher ISO values than you used to be able to. I remember being nervous to go above 800 ISO, but now 1600, 3200, even 6400, a lot of the time is absolutely fine. However, there are times like this photo, for example, I've shot this with an ISO of 12,800. Why? I'll be honest with you, because I messed up the shot and I forgot to change my settings before I took the shot and this little bird, I mean, this is a tiny, tiny bird, I was worried it was going to fly away, so I just took the shot and then realized I had really messed up the settings because there's a lot of digital noise here. You know, especially if I zoom in somewhere like here, you can really see that's a lot of digital noise and we're not getting the detail that we want and it's just, you know, it just doesn't look great. So let's have a look. I've not done anything to this photo at all. It is completely fresh from the camera. Obviously, I've shot in RAW, which I think helps generally just to have as much data there as possible. But even sort of zoomed out here, you can sort of see it's, it looks a little bit messy. So we're going to scroll down here on the right to the detail panel, which is where you would do your sharpening. You can do some manual denoising as well. And that's always been in Lightroom. And that has come in really handy in the past. But now we see this big denoise button here. And this is where Lightroom is going to use AI to reduce the noise. And it just saves that as a new DNG. Super helpful. So to be honest with you, this is really, really easy and straightforward to do. Let's just go ahead and click Denoise. Lightroom's going to work out a rough kind of preview and it's going to tell us how long it's going to take to do it. Generally, that should be pretty quick. This is four seconds. They can differ a little bit, but hopefully it should be pretty quick. We can do a Denoise amount, but for the most part, I'm finding just leaving this at 50 is absolutely fine, unless you have some crazy image. I think 50 is fine. You could even go less if it's not too bad. This one I'm going to leave at 50 because it's, it is pretty noisy. And let's click Enhance. Now Lightroom is just going to do its thing. You can see it loading up here in the top left. It's just going through and just cleaning this up. Now look at that. Look at how clean that is now. So Lightroom has added this in as a new DNG. It's in a stack here so I can see the kind of before. This is with the noise. And then if I zoom in here actually just to give a better idea. And then after, look at that. That is crazy. There's still a little bit of noise around, but it looks much more natural. And actually this has done an incredible job of keeping a lot of the detail there. So not sacrificing that to get rid of that noise, but that is unbelievable. It's such a clean image compared, that's where we were. And then this is where we've ended up. Now, obviously when you shoot like this, you're sacrificing a bit of detail anyway. You just are, there's nothing you can really do about that. But this can save a shot. And I mean, that has made a huge difference. And I'm still free then to just go in and edit this kind of however I'd like, really make any changes at all, color, exposure, anything. You could completely stylize this as if it were just straight out of your camera, but now you don't have all the noise to deal with. Let's do one more photo just to really get a sense for this one. This time we're going to go for something which was shot at 25,600 ISO. So look at this shot here. This is again a shot that I messed up because I shot it at f8 for no reason. Didn't mean to. I didn't mean to at all. And I shot it at 1 800th of a second shut speed. So I was on auto ISO and it just popped it all the way up to 25,600. Again, it was another situation where I didn't want the robin to fly away while it was on this snowy kind of fence before I took the shot. So I didn't think about the settings. These things happen, right? We all make mistakes. But let's have a look at how this handles it. Let's go ahead and click the denoise button here. Again, I've done nothing else to the image. It's just doing a little preview there. Let's click enhance and let's wait for Lightroom to do its thing. Look at that. That is so clean. If we zoom in here on our little Robin friend, again, uh, Lightroom's made it into a new DNG, which is actually really helpful, I think, because you can go back and look at, that's where we were in terms of noise. And then it's taken us to here, which 
is remarkable, really. Now, again, you're not going to have as much detail as if you'd taken a shot properly, you know, but if you're in a situation where you have to shoot a high ISO, there's no option, and you know you're going to introduce all this digital noise, this is, this is a great way to just rescue a photo. I mean, look at the amount of noise that was there. And then again, we've managed to clean that up. And if we're not zoomed in, if we're zoomed out like that, it looks very, very clean. And then we can go in and we can actually edit this. We can do a quick little edit to the to the photo. And we can get some really nice end results. So this can really save a photo. And there we go. I'm really happy with just that two second edit there. That's really nice. Just darkening everything around our Robin friend. We don't have the noise to worry about. It looks really good. And for most things, that's perfectly fine. This is a really, really nice update, I think, to Lightroom Classic because it doesn't feel like necessarily the biggest thing or the most exciting, interesting thing, but this can save a shot. And when you need this, you'll be so glad it's there. I think Adobe probably had to put something like this in because we were seeing lots of AI denoising programs popping up. So it's something that probably was lacking. So great to see it, really, really nice. I like to see this sort of thing added in. Just makes this, as a tool, so much more useful and just there's so much more benefit to you as the user of the program. Of course, don't forget to like and subscribe as well. There's new content all the time. I'll see you next time. But until then, as always, thanks for watching.